Hi, I'm Ami Steinberger, author of your daily dose of Hebrew, Ketzat Ivrit. This is your weekly video dose of Hebrew. The Hebrew word koach goes way, way back to the Torah, Biblical Hebrew in the Torah itself. It means power, as we see in the Torah portion to be read this Shabbat by Jews around the world, where the people of Israel cross the Red Sea that has been split for them, where they cross into safety and great jubilation. And they praise to God, Yemilcha Hashem Nedari Bakoach. Your right hand, O God, is glorious with power. Koach means power in Biblical Hebrew and in Modern Hebrew. In Modern Hebrew, it also means energy, as in Tachanat Koach, the place where they make energy or a power plant. A couple of examples. Yeshli Koach, I have energy or power. Enli Koach. I don't have energy, I don't have power, I don't feel like it. Another example from current events. Mistaber, shel Yair Lapid, yesh arbe koach achshav. It turns out that Yair Lapid has lots of power right now. He's the head of the Yesh Atid party, which just won 19 seats in the Knesset. A synonym for the word koach is Otzma, which means might. It also means power. In current events, Otzma Israel is the name of a political party, which means power to Israel. And interestingly, this party didn't make it into the Knesset. So this weekend also has in it Tu Bishvat, the 15th of the Jewish month of Shvat, which is the day that Jews celebrate nature, trees, the blossoming of flowers, and some might say beholding the koach of God. Shabbat shalom, v'sof shavua na'im nechulam, v'tu bishvat sameach. Shabbat shalom, a pleasant weekend to all, and happy tu bishvat.